I know we're talking about getting rid of Wentz, but should he even want to stay with the depletion of how we were from last year to this year? Yeah, because he's got a coach who believes in him and who knows how to unlock his talents more than anybody else has proven that in in the NFL. He should be he should be wanting to stay there. He should set his roots there. He should try and open a hospital there just like another quarterback if he could. Right. You know, I'm serious. Like he should never want to leave there. You got that running back behind him? Oh my God. Um, that that terrific offensive line in front of him, they've got they've got the pieces. We saw what happened in between week six and fifteen, week six and sixteen. We saw it. They were a team that just couldn't be stopped. They were a team that hit you in the mouth. They were a team that 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 loved hitting you in the mouth on offense. It's just Wentz uh, took some time in order to get you know his feet wet. His feet. Thanks for the call too. His feet got. Both of his ankles sprained. Remember that against the Rams early mm-hmm. on in the season? Yep. He missed a game. And then they started playing football. And this is how things change, man. Wentz got COVID. I, I, remarkably, despite being unvaccinated, was able to not miss a game. He played and he looked lost. He didn't look himself. This is no joke, man. I mean, your conditioning's got to be ready to get back out there, and maybe he was deemed safe to play, but he didn't look the same. Raiders took care of that one, didn't it? And then in the second half yesterday, the Wentz of Philadelphia returned. (laughs) Couldn't hold on to the ball. There was one interception that was ruled not an interception because the ball hit the ground, but it was a third and long um, in which a receiver was open, he airmailed him, and they were lucky to not have that one a turnover. Got it back. That one was thrown as a pick. That was his first interception of the year on the road. He had a terrific year, Carson Wentz. Yeah, but nobody's going to remember that. Well, we're going to remember the fact that they had a chance to win it in Jacksonville and yeah, couldn't. And blow it. Here's an interesting stat. You ready for this one? This is unbelievable, and I'm sure Colts fans don't want to hear it, but it's kind of too bad. Um, But I've got it right here. Let me make sure. I wasn't expecting to say it, but I'll say it. Um, Most consecutive home wins versus a divisional opponent active streak. Jaguars over the Colts is seven. That's the fifth best active streak. You want to hear the other ones? (laughs) What do we got? Um, So this is home wins against a divisional opponent. opponent. Okay. Home wins in a row. Um, The Philadelphia Eagles over the Giants. They've won eight in a row over the Giants in Philadelphia. And this is what's going to drive the Colts fans nuts. The Titans over the Jaguars. (laughs) So the Jaguars are on this list twice. Once as having beaten their opponent and once also being the Washington Generals of the equation. (laughs) To another team's globetrotter. All right. Then it's the Patriots over the Jets at 13. Oh, wow. How about this? My my <laughs> my annual pain of the Jets visiting New England just got bar mitzvahed <laughs> this year. The streak is now officially a man. And the other streak can now officially, uh, you know, buy some alcohol. Oh. Right? 18? That the legal age? Yeah, 21. Oh, shit. Come on now. Pardon me. Ooh. 18. So that's, this is... Uh, in Canada, they can oh, okay. Right, right, right. Canada. Drive in some state. I 18. Vote, Rich. Vote. Steelers over the Browns. You know what that means? Big Ben will Never have played lost. his entire career. Never lost to the Browns. Correct. At home. <laughs> Remember when we had him on last week and he's like, yeah, they, 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 they didn't draft me? And he says, I know people like Brady use that to this day. Well, Big Ben went through his entire playing career, never lost to the Browns at home. Never. Yeah, and barely lost on the road. Never. Career record 26-2-1 and uh, one against uh, the Browns. Is, by the way, but I'm sure <laughs> Browns fans will raise their hand and say this it must be a regular season stat since they went into Pittsburgh and beat them in the playoffs last year. Yeah. And yes, it is. It is a... Regular season statistic. Because the Jets did beat New England in New England. In the playoffs. In the playoffs, right? It hasn't been that long since Rex left, right? 
13 years? It has been. 2010, yeah, 2010. Hey, you watched all the way to the end. Thanks for that. Watch more right here.